What's the hardest part of making a movie and why? Hmm. That's a, that's an interesting one. I think the hardest part about making a film is the logistics. Sometimes it's the, those unknowable things that you have no control over and being able to, it doesn't matter if it's a hundred million dollar movie or a $200,000 feature. There's always going to be things that come up where you don't have control over them. Right? So, and that's just the nature of what we do is we're taking a camera and we're pointing it at real people in real situations and things in real life kind of always like things happen, right? I mean, you know, this actor isn't available or they're in the, you know, thing going on, the lights not working, the sun is setting, we're losing our light. Uh, the sound isn't what we thought, like there's loud sounds here. So there's these unknowable things that are always coming at you as a director and you have to be able to filter out the ones that are going to require your attention and the ones that you have to kind of just move on from. So I think that's what it, that, that's one of those things that you can't really learn. You have to experience and kind of have that sort of thing in your belt where this situation has happened to you before, where the sun is setting and you have five shots to get on your shot list and crap. Okay. How do we get this scene in one shot now? Cause the sun is setting and that's when you're thinking as an editor and you're saying, okay, the previous scene we did this and there was a shot where our character walked from here to here. You know what? I don't really need to get that transition moment. Let's just go straight into him. He's in the room and it's coming, it's being able to be nimble on your feet and make those adjustments and make those cuts in your head so that you don't lose your whole day. So that, you know, when the producers come up to you and say, did you get the scene? You can say confidently, we got the scene. It cuts together. It works. And is that where the sort of monk like stoicism comes Definitely. into play? Because yeah. like that, I'm sure that that sounds like you could panic too. You could oh, go yeah. either way on that one. Yeah, definitely. Those are those situations where you have to not let the outside distractions kind of pull you away from what your goal is as a director, which is you got to sit behind the monitor. And this is one word of advice I got when I was in film school was ultimately the director is the ideal audience for a film. So when they're sitting behind that monitor or they're sitting next to the camera, watching the actors, looking at the scene, you got to look at it as the perspective of an ideal audience member and be like, that worked, or that's going to require one more, or how is that going to cut to the next thing? Right. Or as a storyteller, you're kind of putting yourself in that position and you're looking at it from that perspective. So being able to just turn off everything around you, all the noise and just being able to, for that, for that moment where you call action and cut that little in between, just being able to look at it as an audience member, that ideal audience member, and just taking it all in, I think is critical to being able to tell your story.